Welcome to BC Mnemonics. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the planispheric astrolabe and its use of the universal horizon plate. So as you can see here, I have installed within the astrolabe a plate that does not feature the traditional uh, grid matrix of the sky, but instead these nested horizon lines. Now what this does is allow the use of the astrolabe at any latitude albeit with slightly limited functionality. So with horizons for every latitude, you're able to determine the times of the rising and setting suns for any location at any time of the year. Without Almocanters or meridian lines, this astrolabe is not able to determine the position within the celestial coordinate system for the sun or stars. Despite this, it can still determine the points of the rising or setting stars or the sun with use of the hour and date scale. It's also able to determine the hour or date with the rising or setting point of the sun or stars known. Now, as I said, this is slightly limiting, as without the, the sky matrix, you cannot determine the time during the day uh, by using the alidate on the back of the dial. So its time finding um, potential is slightly hampered, but its predictive ability is widened uh, with respect to latitude. So the first step to using this function is to determine the current point in the zodiac of the sun. So I happen to know that it is the middle of Cancer, but if you didn't know this, you could reference the back of the astrolabe and find the point of at the uh, current date that uh, corresponds with the, um, the zodiac scale. So for example, we have July up here. Setting it to the current date, I see that it intersects Cancer at um, right about right about 15 there. Now again, back to the front, we have the intersection of the rule and uh, ecliptic, identifying the position of the sun, and all that's left is to position that sun over the horizon that corresponds with my latitude. So as you can see here, the latitudes for each horizon are, are listed along the center line. Me being at 44, I will use the line just above the 50th mark. So aligning the sun to that position, we see that the rule points to right about 430 on the edge of the limb. So this indicates that the sun at this latitude, at this time of year, will rise at 4.30 solar time. This will conclude the demonstration, and I thank you for watching.